It's January and we're walking barefoot on the beach. Life is good. Hello, Chuffaloo. How you doing? Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? <laughs> we found a way to infiltrate the city. And I got money. You are amazing with finding money on the beat. I guess you get to get a three-in-one copy now. I just found five pesos. If I can find it, 34 pesos, I can buy my favorite coffee drink. Now I just have to find one. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Chapalu is famous for our cheese. Ciao a tutti, buonasera, buongiorno. Venite a trovare la a vista a Chapalu. Come here in Chapalu to eat arancine on strigola. Bye. I can't wait to try these. So on the bottom, he says they have an egg. This is the ragu. I made a mess of it. Mmm, oh, really good. Right, deep fried with meat in it. Oh, this is the cream and gorgonzola. Oh, oh that's Mexican. Very, very rich. This is cheese and spicy sausage. Smoked cheese and spicy sausage. Mmm, these are all really good. Definitely have to visit the shop. And all of this was only seven euros. And with that 50 cents that I found on the beach, I bought this. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mm, there's a local bakery next door. And this is the first time I've gotten to try his food. Oh, really good. It's focaccia. Mm. Bon appetit. Mm. Another day of beautiful weather in Chefalu. What a perfect time to hike up to the top of that. It is so good to see you. We do this every day. And I'm still so amazed. By you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just as two. It's uh, five. Thank you. Thank you. It's five euros to go up to the top. Apple pay? Yeah. Bye bye. bye. There's a lady there that'll help you get your uh, ticket. You can pay with a card or with cash, and it's five euros oh, with per Apple person pay. or with Apple, which is oh, really yeah. nice. <laughs> and then you come up here and you scan to get through. Oh, there we go. There you go. I'm gonna put this in the safe spot because I think we have to scan to get back out. God knows we couldn't hurdle that enormous fence to escape. We just started, and look at this place already. Holy cow! Five euros a person is a little steep. No pun intended. This is the first tourist attraction we've paid for here in Sicily. Well, if you don't count the food. And we should probably count the food. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, the food. Yeah, we need to be on a walk today. I'm sure that's the best the view's gonna get. It can't get any better from, oh well, never mind. And we're not even halfway up. <laughs> used to be able to go that way, which looks awesome, but apparently some tourist fell off. It's just us two. Me and you. Castle first. I'm right-handed, so you know. Like it's either a skink or a lizard, but he's cute. Oh yeah, but it's a type of lizard. <laughs> this view is well worth the hike up here. This is the highlight of the trip to Chefalu for me, and the food is definitely was the highlight before this. But to sit here and think that people 3,000 years ago sat here and looked at this exact same view. They were probably looking for invaders. Is there someone else up there we could talk to? No, now go away or I shall taunt you a second time. <laughs> but, wow. 
just stunning. Somewhere around here, we're going to see a sign that says Diana's Temple. <laughs> Haven't seen it yet. Make sure you wear good shoes. Or in Kate's case, elf boots. Yes, it was a little too cool to wear my Birkenstocks, but I was tempted. One of the travel vlogs Kate and I used to watch, Life of Jord, is this British kid, Jordan Simons. We'd always make fun of him because he'd be hiking all these mountains and stuff wearing like his silly little Converse tennis shoes. Well, we can't judge anymore since all of Kate's Birkenstock adventures. Now that's a view. This has to rank up there with one of the best views I have ever seen in my entire life. And it gets better off this side. <laughs> Can you imagine the person goes, how did you not see that ship? Did you fall asleep on duty? <laughs> did you know there was one? <laughs> the rocks here are just covered in fossils. They're amazing. We're on our way down to the archaeological ar archaeological site and still no sign of Diana, but I have a feeling that might be it. Look at the size of these stones. They're just enormous. That thing's the size of a smart car. We found the Temple of Diana. This was built in the 4th or 5th century BC. <laughs> now the historians are arguing, and they have been for a while. They say this is the oldest structure in all of Sicily. Over 2,500 years old, and this place is still standing. That's very impressive. down there. Well, easy to see why they have that capped. That is the UNESCO Norman Church. We can see this cross from our balcony. And that's our place right there. This hike has been beautiful. It's well worth the five euros. I highly recommend it. Going to the top, to the castle, and then when you're a little farther down, there's another road that splits off that comes down to the archaeological dig and Diana's temples right behind that. That would be the way I would go. It is quite a walk, but oh, the views are amazing. Definitely a high point of our trip to Chuffalo for me. I agree. Nice time. Oh, yes. We're back. We eat here a lot. <laughs> And tortellini. Oh. Uh, you too. Oh, you too. Yeah. Mm. You're our favorite place. After lunch, we walked around town and then snapped this picture for Instagram. This caption seemed funny at the time, but we'll cover that in next week's video. For now, there's a cannelloni with our name on it. Salva said this was the place to go for cannelloni. Rosalva said this is the best cannelloni in town and they make it a little bit different than, than other places. It's not as sweet, she said. Oh, that's really good. The crunch of the outside and then the sweetness of the inside is not so sickening sweet, but I have to admit, this is my very first one, so I have nothing to compare it to. But this is fantastic. Two of them came to four euros and four point six euros. <laughs> We were told to come to the ticket office for help with our reservation, but they never seem to be here. That chair hasn't moved in a week. Neither is that bicycle in the back. So we've been checking that desk for over a week and the bicycle and the chair have not moved. So good luck in actually trying to get help on your ticket. So we'll go with our favorite strategy, hoping everything is okay. <laughs> it's our last day, but and finally, this thousand year old church is open. Another UNESCO site.
I'm so glad we got to see this place. The stained glass is so old, it's unlike anything I've seen before. The ancient architecture is really cool. What a perfect end to an amazing stay in Chefalu. Now let's get packed up and get on that train. <laughs> okay, I wish. Train doesn't leave till 9.30 tonight, but we do have to get packed. <laughs> when we first got here, it hailed so hard, I saved some of the hailstones. That's like the biggest hail ever in Sicily. Didn't think I'd ever see hail in Sicily. <laughs> of course, we came back to Pasta Pasta to have one more meal here. And the owner came over and said, why, you're back again. Last day. Ooh, is this our last supper? This is our last supper. That sounds really terrifying. <laughs> Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>